Hi guys, it's Jeff at Brimwood Farm here. Um, so it's winter, I'm running a small holding channel. Uh, so what do you think I might be talking about today? Yep, you have guessed it. Broad beans and overwintering onions, of course. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks Barry. Hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I've got some tips and tricks on growing these overwintering veggies coming up now. Welcome to a beautiful wintry day here at Brimwood Farm. So my first tip when it comes to any growing any plants from seed is taking the seed packet and looking at the instructions and then changing them to suit your needs. So I've got these um, broad beans, they're Aquadulce Claudia from uh, Dobby's and they're perfect for growing over the winter so you plant them um, through the fall and then they'll give you an early crop in the spring. So on the back of these or on the front of these it says so in late October and during November well it's now December and why am I doing it in December because I'm changing it to suit my needs so to give you a bit of background over the past few years I have grown aquadolce uh, in October and November but the problem is we've had really mild winters and that means that the beans have put on large growth spurts so in instead of just this little tiny nubbin of growth above the ground which can deal with frosts um, but has that early start. They've grown like a couple of uh, inches higher, they've got several sets of leaves on them and then when you do get a frost, they do get frosted off and they blacken and they shrivel and so any forward progress you've made is actually cut right back so you, you, you've made a loss really. Um, so my main thing this year is to plant them a bit later so they don't get that sudden rush um, and then hopefully I will get that early cropping instead of planting them as if I had planted them in the spring. So that's my first tip. Always leave, read the um, instructions on the packet and go by the uh, dates, but in your experience with growing in your area, just adapt the sowing times. Now my second thing is, I'm gonna be growing the, uh, the broad beans in modules. I'm not direct sowing, and that's for a number of reasons. Firstly, over my shoulder, you can see the bed where they're gonna be put, and I've put in a load of poultry manure. Now it's fairly rotted down, but it's still rich enough that it will burn the plants if I first put them in. So by putting them into modular trays, when I then transplant them, they've got that little bit of, um, a little blanket of soil around the, around the root system, so they're not going to get burnt. Also, I'll be growing them, I'll be transplanting them once they've got a little bit of growth on, and that's had a time to rot down from, through the fr frosts and uh, the winter cold. The other thing with growing them in modules is you can then optimise your planting out um, space. So instead of direct sowing them where the seeds might get moved around in the soil a little bit, you can direct sow and then put them to the maximum efficiency so you can use them as much space as possible. Um, so I'm going to put those seeds in the tray now. You'll have seen it all before, so I'll whiz through it really, really quickly. Uh, but here goes. they're ready to go. Um, now I'm going to just leave the tray outside because what you want to do is you want to acclimatise those seeds to your seasonal uh, changes. So don't put them in a warm place because they'll start growing and then you'll have all this growth and you won't be able to put them outside. And also I wouldn't even put them in a frost free greenhouse because they need to be used to frost. Um, otherwise again they will grow too quickly, you'll, they'll start to get straggly, you'll want to put them out and then sod's law, you'll get a frost and they'll get frosted off. So just keep them watered and leave them outside um, so they can follow the seasonal fluctuations in cold. Now, I did say I was going to talk about onions, and I am, but I'm not actually growing any onions this year. And my reason is, I only have a small plot. Onions are in the ground for a long time, um, so they will be put in now and they wouldn't be coming out till May, June. That's six or seven months of the year, so that's a long time to have a bed taken up with onions. They're really cheaply priced in bags um, just from your supermarket around here. I'm not going to be able to sell them for a lot. And to be honest, the taste uh, isn't that different from a shop-bought onion to a home-grown onion. So I'm not going to be doing them. But if you are doing them, and you can, if you're doing them just for your own personal use, and you've got a bigger plot, then I would say go for it. Um, 
what you'll get is you'll get your overwintering onion sets and they're tiny little onion sets and again when I've done them in the past do them in the modular trays and there's a couple of extra reasons for this obviously they don't get burnt from uh, the manure rich soil and they get a chance to be established and uh, you can then maximize the um, spacing of them but the other thing is Onion sets, unlike raw beans, are put in the soil just below the surface, so the very top is poking out. And they don't like their roots disturbed, but what does like them are crows and uh, magpies and mice and pigeons who will just come along and pull them out and then go, oh, I don't want to eat this, and they'll just be left lying on the surface. So the root disturbance, uh, the roots are disturbed, and then you have to keep planting them, and they keep getting pulled out, so it's just, I find it's pointless. If you put them in a modular tray, and sow them in modules and the roots can get growing and then once you transplant them they can't be pulled out so they I find they survive a lot easier that way um, so again and with the watering and leaving them out in the frost in the trays do exactly the same thing as you would with the broad beans um, so that's my few tips and tricks on growing uh, broad beans and overwintering onions it's pretty easy pretty run in the mill you can still do it now even though it's December which is great it just goes to show that you can grow stuff all year round and get an early start for next year. Um, if you've got any questions, as always, just please ask in the comments and I will see you next week. Bye.